took long enough to clean it out, but this is the shit I'm dealing with. And for some reason, there is fucking tons of expanding foam and cables, which I've now got to move. What a mess. Plan is, board that bit, neaten up and paint that bit, neaten up and paint that, pull all this out and find something else to go in there. So what I'm thinking is if I make one of them there and raise it so that it comes up above these pipes then I don't have to box the pipes in. Well there was bar there. Took it off with two hammers because I couldn't find the wrecking bar and I can't get the nails out. And there's six of them and I want that wall to be flat. So now I'm going to need to go and get an angle grinder and grind them down because every time I try I make a hole in the wall with the hammer which isn't good and there's nothing else I can do about it and now I'm in the kitchen because I just got in the little cupboard under the stairs where all of the home decorating stuff is and I couldn't find anything that I wanted including the aforementioned wrecking bar that's uh, should have been with my tools it's not I forgot that when I was drunk I made DIY cupboard and that's where all the screws and wrecking bar is so happy Chris now next problem the laser speaks for itself so now I need to somehow match that line whilst avoiding all of this to keep the bottom shelf level. After a consultation with my bag of wood, it's now in. It doesn't look half bad. I mean, it'd help if the people that put in the other side put it in straight in the first place. This side done. Now I've just got to do that, that, probably something in the middle, Put a board over this, board out the front, grind them off, um, paint, maybe, I don't know. Might just board it all out with whatever wood I can find. <laughs> 